Hello, members of the Finance and Governance Committee, members of the public and city staff. My name is Sherry Klima. I'm your Deputy City Manager. And this item is regarding professional services agreement for whistleblower hotline services. The city has worked with Price Page and Company for whistleblower hotline services since the inception of those services. And most recently, the city council approved a third amendment to extend uh, the agreement with Price Page and Company in June of 2021. However, in June of 2022, city staff was notified that Price Page would not be able to continue with the existing contract due to capacity constraints. And so in August, the city solicited an RFP for whistleblower hotline consultant services. Um, the city's evaluation committee, which was comprised of council member Turan, city attorney Stephen Fisher, and myself selected Centrio, and we submitted a letter of intent to award uh, to Centrio in September. The whistleblower hotline services that Centrio will provide include uh, allowing um, complaints to come through the web, live agent, and a voicemail message. Um, there is a dedicated toll-free number uh, for all residents of Oxnard, as well as all city staff, to call. Um, there are 10 standard reporting categories, and up to six authorized reviewers within the city will have access to review, but not edit, just review, um, the specific report categories, such as fraud, theft, harassment. Um, there is a case management system so that you can search, sort, manage, and generate reports. And um, the city's staff will, uh, the, the reviewers will have access to that sorting function. And there will also be a training webinar provided prior to the go live date. So the way this will work, it's very similar to price page, um, is that any complaints that come in that are not related to potential fraud, waste, and abuse will go to the relevant city departments insofar as it is related to something that the city does. Um, so for example, HR complaints will go to the HR department. That is the same as what Price Page did. They would forward HR complaints onto the HR department. Um, all complaints related to potential fraud, waste, and abuse will be sent directly to Vasquez, the city's internal auditor, who will filter those complaints in accordance with the city's whistleblower hotline policy. complaints. Um, those are defined in the PowerPoint. They're also defined um, in the staff report as well as the policy itself. And um, Vasquez will immediately review the complaints according to this definition and determine for each complaint which priority uh, is the most appropriate. Vasquez will keep a running list, um, and that list will be shared with the chair of the Finance and Governance Committee, with the city manager's office, and with the city attorney's office. And that will be all of the complaints as they are received. Any one of those individuals, um, or offices is implicated in the complaint, then uh, they will not be able to see the relevant complaint in that list. The internal auditor will immediately investigate all the high priority complaints and discuss the prioritization of investigating medium and low priority complaints. Um, Centrio is not going to come before the Finance and Governance Committee to do presentations. They don't offer that service, and we found it is not common in the, in the industry anymore. So city staff will take the um, list that comes from the um, 
from Centrio of all of the complaints in the past uh, time period, as well as Vasquez's prioritization of those complaints and bring them uh, up to every six months, at least rather every six months to the Finance and Governance Committee. Um, this, it'll be the city manager's office that provides that report, unless the city manager's office is implicated in those complaints, in which case the city attorney's office will provide that report. Um, this will be for all complaints that are not investigated. If a complaint is investigated, then Vasquez will come and do the presentation of the investigation and its findings and recommendations uh, to the committee and council. On this slide, you can see the total cost of Centrio's contract. This is a five-year contract that should cost $30,500. Uh, the contract does have a termination provision if we are not satisfied with the services. And the recommendation is that the Finance and Governance Committee recommend the City Council approve and authorize the execution of the agreement with Centrio in the amount of $30,500 for a duration of five years to provide whistleblower hotline services. I will be available at the Finance and Governance Committee meeting if you should have any questions. Thank you.